Yes, Jesus is our great high priest. We could see that in the book of Hebrews in the New Testament, but also pictured in the Old Testament. And he had these 12 precious stones over his heart. And we're going to talk about that some more. But watch this. This is amazing, you guys. So Yeshua, this is his name, Yeshua in the Hebrew. And he is the Messiah because even that name Joshua or Yeshua, it means salvation of the Lord. It's amazing. Hey, by the way, Yeshua loves Israel. Did you know that Jesus loves Israel? Yes, and he's very Jewish. He is Hebrew. He's Jewish through and through, you guys. Read the book of Matthew sometime and you'll see that. It's amazing. So Jesus loves Israel. And by the way, you can get these, these as bumper stickers or t-shirts if you want down below. It helps support this ministry, this YouTube video. You can click on the link down below and check those out if you want. But uh, I also have this one. I love this one. My king is Jewish, my friend. He's Jewish. I love that, don't you? And that should speak to you people in Israel. That should speak to your heart. This is our king. So he's pictured the great high priest was just a foreshadowing of him. Now, the shadow is not greater than the actual person, is it? Is your shadow greater than you? No. The real thing is you, physical you. So this, the high priest was a shadow of Jesus. How do I know that? Because the Bible tells us. Now, look at this. This is what he wore. He had the gold on the top, like a crown here. And then he had the tribes of Israel here divided. But then here he had the 12 precious stones, the 12 tribes of Israel over his heart. Okay. And then here he has the pomegranates and the bells. And interwoven through all this fabric is what's called... Uh, this red, the tolashani, this crimson red, which came from this little grub, which is actual grub of Psalm 22. And it says, I am a worm and not a man. This little grub is where they cr they crush these to get the red dye. And there's a, there's a story behind that because that little thing climbs up a tree one time in its life and it gives life to its offspring and dies. And it marks that wood on that tree red, forget this, three days. And then it turns as white as snow and falls to the ground like a snowflake where it takes us to Isaiah 118, right? So the Lord says, come now and let us reason together, says the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they will be as white as snow. They, though they be as crimson, and that word is tola, they shall be as white as wool. Isn't that amazing, you guys? So that's what we see in the, the garments, just the garments of the priest. So Hebrews chapter four says, therefore we, since we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, right? Jesus, that's who it is. So this is where the high priest would be in the tabernacle, right? Later we became the temple. He was in this holy place. He always kept this menorah, the seven gold lampstand full of oil, which speaks of the Holy Spirit. Because God, this speaks of the church. The seven gold lampstand in Revelation is the churches. And God pours the, the Jesus, the great high priest, pours the oil in. That was the job of the great high priest. He would pour, keep that oil lit and that those flames bright and hot. And when he does that, something amazing happens. When the church glows with the Holy Spirit, something amazing happens. And we'll talk about that in a minute. So when Jesus died, that massive veil was ripped in two, giving us free access to the Holy of Holies, the very place of Jesus. Jesus, the Son of God, Hebrews 4 said, our great high priest, Let's hold firmly to our confession, it says. Hold firmly to him. For we do not have a high priest who cannot sympathize with our weakness. He understands our, our struggles and our sins and all those things. But one who has been tempted in all things, just as we are yet without sin. He's that perfect lamb of God without blemish, you guys. Therefore, let us approach the throne of grace with confidence. Approach the throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace for help in time of need. So that we may receive mercy and find grace. Grace is getting something good you don't deserve. Mercy is not getting what you do deserve in our time of need. When is that? That's now, my friend. <laughs> Revelation chapter 1 says this, the seven golden lampstands are the seven churches. So here's an old medallion from Solomon's era they found in Jerusalem, pure gold. Look how it stayed preserved beautifully, but it's a seven golden lampstand. This is the one they made today in Israel, getting ready for their new temple. And that's also the seven golden lampstand, which 
Revelation tells us speaks of the church. Again, remember Jesus is our great high priest. They kept that oil, which speaks of the Holy Spirit, filled in each one of these. And when the Holy Spirit's in us, because the church is really us, it's people, it's God's people. But when we're filled with the Holy Spirit, we that flame shines brighter and hotter for Jesus, right? And what happens when that's brighter and hotter? Something amazing happens. We're about to see it. So here's a, the Titus archway, the archway of Titus. You can see this in Rome today. And this is where they were after 70 AD. They carried away the, the, the parts of the temple. This is the, uh, the golden menorah, right? The seven gold lampstand, the table of showbread. You can actually see that today if you wanted to. But when those churches shine brighter, filled with the Holy Spirit, shining brighter, those 12 precious stones over Jesus' heart shine brighter too. And what does that speak of? The whole 12 tribes of Israel, my friend. Jesus still loves Israel. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. If you live in Israel, I want to encourage you. God loves you. He sent Yeshua HaMashiach, the Messiah Jesus, to fulfill everything in your scriptures. And if you want to see that playlist right now, you can click on this playlist right here, How to Find Jesus in the Old Testament, and you will see it, my friend. God bless you. God loves you.